YouTube and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium in the last episode. We left off here on this little beach. I forget, is this a trainer we fought before? I don't know. Let's find out. Well, yes, let's continue onward. Traversing Route 15 towards that one mentioned town I can't remember the name of. Some sort of. Uh, let me check them out. We are heading to. Snowbank Town. Alright, that's where we're heading. But what was that else in the back? We are now at. Yes, I'm using another power. Because fuck the wild Pokemon here. Pokepod. Well, this is land that I tunnel. Alright. So there's a tunnel all the way there. Unless we have to actually cross that tunnel. Gee, it looks like the water is coming to an end. There's some sort of pier or something here. Is there a dock here? Where the fuck are we? Oh, there's sand castles here. Silverport Town, our first sea breeze brings. Wait, 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 what? Oh, I, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't think of Silverport Town. I guess that's where we were originally heading. It's colder up north. I can't remember why I'm in skirt every day anymore. So, trainer like you doing Silverport must be looking for the next gem. That's in Snowbank Town to the east. Okay, thank you for the information. Oh, what do you have I can buy? Oh, great. Uh, let's see. I don't have any super potions, I should probably buy a few. Probably ten. Because I got plenty of money. Pair of potions, I have nine. I'll buy eleven of these. Revive, how many do I have? I'll buy one. How many Ultra Balls do I have? Thirty is plenty. Hey balls, buy four. I'm gonna buy them balls. <laughs> buy all the balls. Full heals, how many do I have? Twenty-one. I'll buy some I'll buy ten super repels because why not? Alright, yeah, nothing will ever have as good as the as the Bill Beach department store, but they can only do it. Takes balls to catch them all. Book of balls, that is. That is a bad joke from a little kid. Catch a strong Pokemon found in Route 16. Plain Pokeballs won't cut it. You're gonna need some Ultra Balls. Okay, I mentioned strong Pokemon Route 16. This Marcel scarves and jackets. I'm cold. Wait, did I just walk through the wall and into? Okay, that was weird. I did some wall bending there. <laughs> Does the children play at being pirates and ninjas? But to tell the truth, I wish they wouldn't. Here in East Tender, pirates are all across the oceans. No one knows what the ninjas are up to. <laughs> of course. My well, first part of seeing Yar Moody, ye slippery fish, I'll cut you with my cutlass. I dodge your attacks with my ninja techniques, swift and silent, I sneak up behind you and knock you out with my sleeping gas. Oh, okay, it's playing, playing pretend. And my hair. Okay, when I move clipping through that. Do I need to heal my team? Uh, yeah, that's a definite yes. Da ding, ding, da ding. Let's heal up our team so we can continue on more to Snowbank Town. First, I remember look, reading something a while back about this place. Something that has to do with the Garlic Kid uh, side quest or something. Reading some warmer clothes we found on the Icy Tundra Route 16. Route 16 is on the slopes of Mount Lanthanite. One of the two major mountains in Tandor. Wait. Oh, I thought it was a lot. Oh, it's this tunnel is in. The Lanthanite Tunnel is in. Okay. I got confused there for a second. I forgot I was using a repel. Surveying this town, pretty science is special activity from the person or group that's responsible for the attacks on nuclear power plants. You do that, Mr. Supposed Ranger. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta read the sign. Larkspur Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, I had to do that. Oh my god, dude, it's bold. We're doing research on methods of taming Pokemon. With technology, we can clone a new Pokemon from just a tiny scrap of DNA. So the community to prevent Pokemon that have been extinct for centuries. Hey, it's time to break it to you, scientist. Someone's already beat you to it. Trainer from no no Moki Town, eh? Mambo should know better than to stick his nose in other people's business. Don't cause any trouble, kid. Okay. Yeah, what do you say, Mr. Bowman? Eh? What's a kid like you doing in that? Oh, I see. See, you're a Pokemon trainer. Doing research for some professor, I imagine. Tell me, who is it that you're working for? What the hell's with this music? Sounds familiar. Bamboo is it? Oh, that Ernest. I never would have thought he'd have an accomplice. 
This world but it's just full of surprises, you know? You know, it's the same university. Once, until someone spread a false rumor that I was plagiarizing work. Me and Genius like myself, plagiarizing work for someone else, the idea is preposterous. I didn't need anything out of that blessed university anyway. That's why I founded my own private research film with a brilliant mind like mine. What kind of let genius go to waste? Since you are a bamboo's protege, I won't stop you from looking at our lab facilities. Impressive, isn't it? I'm sure it's leagues ahead of whatever you've got in your backwater town. Just don't touch anything. I expect you'll be on your way shortly. So the Elton wants to say something. It seems like it's in considerable distress. Yeah, no. Seems crestfallen. I'm gonna talk to this person first. Transfer Pokemon to a new Pokemon to root. Lisa and recapture. That's too inconvenient. If one of a way to capture Pokemon who are already in a ball. She's mentioning the sag snag machine. Alright, what do you got to say, Alton? Let's use the PST. You have to help me. These people are very mean. They put me in a comfortable ball and poke me with things that stain. I'm so hungry. Please, take me away from these bad humans. You. Can you understand what that outtone is saying? What is that device in your hand? And suddenly I'm the center of attention. Oh, ho, very interesting. This looks to me like the Pokemon Speech Translation Machine that's in development at Cypress Labs. It's clunky and inconvenient, so it's only a prototype. Still, it has the power to understand exactly what Pokemon are saying. So, will they finally manage to break the language barrier? What are the things I could do if I had that technology? Still, she entrusted you with her research. I can't imagine she would want you to hand it away so readily. So, will be. I can pay you 100000 for it, or I can give you some rare and strong Pokemon from our lab, if you prefer. No, I suppose you made a promise earlier, didn't you? Oh, no, no, I can't fault you for that. Now leave us, please. We have important work to attend to, and you're interrupting our research. Wait, 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 what? Did you just kick me out of the lab? I want to go through that door! Oh, very interesting indeed. Wait. Damn! Oh, I wanted to go through that fucking door! Damn it, I knew I should have gone through that door first. I probably couldn't even go through it. Look once. Slammer and Tide is a human-like cry in the feminine look. She tempts wayward sailors to their doom. Oh yeah, we fought one of those on the way here. Daikatuna is a favorite Pokemon among the ninja No, shit, it's a fucking katana fish. Or fish katana, whatever you want to call it. <gasps> what? Oh wait, no, it's the cost in the background. <laughs> Do you know the move hidden power? It is different for a Pokemon that uses it. I have the ability to look at a Pokemon and tell what it's about. Alright. Actually, nope, no, no, no. no. Sin power is fairy type with a base power. No. No. My aim for all sin power is broken as shit. Wait, what? I don't know why I just randomly chose Chimikaya since I didn't choose it, her, but whatever. I've seen so close to one is going to some sort of important public research there, I reckon. Alright. As far as I know, we don't need to surf right now, so I can bring my other team members out. It's waiting for me. There's XD009. There's Dupless, Noah, Atlas. Mr. Stabber, you disappoint me every time I see you. Scratch, Scratch, Rachel, Jerry, Kyvy. Right, let's bring in Alexis. I haven't been able to. Uh, I want to bring out. You know what? Let's bring out Jerry. Jerry hasn't gotten any light, any time of day yet. Yeah, let's give Jerry the EXP share. I can find a damn thing. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, what the hell can Jerry learn? Can Jerry learn Dragon Call? Let's see. Nope. Mm. Anyone can learn her power. What about Thunderbolt? Jerry learned Thunderbolt. I doubt a rock type can learn Thunderbolt, but I'm checking anyway. What about Shadow Ball? Oh, Jerry can learn Shadow. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I need to check Jerry's stats because I forget what they are. Summary. Yeah, Jerry's a physical attacker. Or no, he's physically defensive by a whole lot. His special attack is actually higher than his physical attack. Special defense is not that bad, or not that good. Mm. Alright, so yeah, then Jerry can learn Shadow Ball. Alright, Jerry, I'll teach you some Shadow Ball. 
So you have rock throw, torment, stealth, rock nature power. Three rock type attacks. Damn. Alright. Mm. What else can we learn? What about stealing? Can you learn stealing at all? Because it looks like he's got wings. Nope. Uh, Shadow Claw. That's going to be we're teaching you one Pokemon, two ghost type moves. But, I mean, the dude has three rock type moves. And honestly, I don't plan on using Stealth Rock in the main story, so. Also, I should have taken Jerry to the Move Maniac, goddammit. Uh, rock Slide. It's better than Rock Throw. So we can keep that stab bonus. So we have a physical and special ghost type move, and a physical rock type move. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's see. But can Jerry learn Calm Mind? Because that would definitely be helpful. Nope. Can learn Bulk Up. Damn it! Damn it, Jerry! Hmm. Dig. Let's see if Jerry can learn dig. Damn it, Jerry! Can Jerry learn? I doubt he can learn sludge bomb. Alright, what about air release? Damn it, Jerry can learn air at least. Uh, okay, you start replace ancient power. Um, Gyro Ball? Damn it. Damn it! Uh, I really just have to. Wait, can I learn Trick Room? That'd be helpful for Jerry. Okay, I'm just really just grasping at straws here. You know what? Uh, uh, we've done enough. I mean, we talked about two ghost type moves and one rock move. Alright, let's continue on. See ya. I can't read the sign. Okay, that's interesting. Super Force found it as a fishing outpost. Most residents still out to sea each. each day to f Oh, sail out to sea each day to fish, including my. Okay, I, didn't, I missed the word sail. Actually, we still haven't found a super rod, but you know what? We haven't fished in a while. Let's use a good rod here. Because this looks like an okay place to fish, and that looks like a Team Rocket grunt. Okay, never mind, it's not a good place to... Whoa! These guys definitely look like Team Rocket grunts. Alright, who's up front? No. And I'll just say no to up front. Just come on, what? The hell? Going somewhere? What the hell's going on? You got something to boss wants? Yeah, we ain't gonna let you pass till the boss gets what he wants. What the hell's going on? Quick, take his Pokeballs. Let's talk about your friends to fight for area. Did they just grab my balls? And they... You're being carried... I'm being carried... Wait, what just happened? Did I just get mugged? It's hard to stay conscious. Oh, so if it looks like it's going slow, it's the game, not me. What the fuck just happened? Oh, it looks like that guy, of course. Oh, look, you're awake. Larkspur, I knew that you'd be surprised if I caught you by surprise. After all, look as a trainer with other Pokemon. If you don't have them to prevent you, you're just a poor, helpless child. Please understand that. Damn it, Jerry, I'm blaming this on you! I never meant to cause you any harm, but I couldn't let you go with that valuable prototype, of course. We went a little secret Larkspur research and treats has been underwater for quite a while. Oh, so there are so many people that... It's people that one doesn't want to be in debt to. It all changed now that we've got the Pokemon's speech translator prototype. My scientists will reverse engineer and we'll start mass producing our own copies. We can use this technology to further our research into a machine that will let trainers suppress their Pokemon's will, making them obey without hesitation. I know at least a few organizations are supposed to be aiming very highly when this technology is complete. Now be good little kid keep while our scientists are examining the Pokemon's speech translator as we speak. 
When they are done with their work, I'll let you go free, but we can't have you causing any trouble before them. If you do as you're told, we may even let you have your Pokemon back again. Although, I'm sorely, sorely tempted to keep them for myself. We could always use more specimens for our experience. Oh, oh, oh. You son of a bitch. And I don't mean Jerry. Damn it, Larkspur. Alright, alright, I have to figure a way out. Let's figure a way out. Let's figure a way out. Do what you're trying to No. Cold by when try drinking it. Okay. Okay, run a cell. Small and grimy, I don't really want to use this. There's something off about this wall. I do not have a Pokemon that has a rock smash or a string. Might as well sleep. Hey, you wake up, here's some food, eat. You know, I feel hungry, huh? There's a note underneath the bread. I can't tell you who I am, but just want you to know that I don't think what the pressure is doing is right. Kidnapping a child. I can't be seen helping you out, though, so all I can do is tell you this. Structural weakness in your cell, if you check the wall behind your bed, it's very thin. What should you do with the thumbs with it? It won't lead you out, but maybe you'll find something helpful on the other side. The password is 92. Good luck, 092. Congratulations, we found a secret note. Which I am actually going. Whoa! Oh, wait, where? They st How can I get gain the secret note if they stole my fucking bag? Damn it. Should have said it seems like give it a thump. Oh my god, that just, that just fell right away. Hey, look who it is! Garlic Kid, Garlic. Garlic Kid, Garlic. Gar. Ah, fuck it. He seems to recognize you. Why is he just freaking out, man? He's pointing to the console on your side of the room. Okay. Um, this thing? Cage Lock Master Control. Enter password. Oh, I got this. Bam. Reports. Let's see what these reports say. Progress is going well on code name 92. The shells made from radiation and previous biofiber will be able to reconstruct itself if damaged. Okay. The power core shipped from overseas. It will require a large amount of nuclear fuel to energize. Once fully activated, it will be able to produce nearly limitless energy. Alright. The MRI detected anomalous brainwaves patterns. Specimen should be incapable of independent thought. We are working on a suppressant. There's some weird ass reports. At least they're short. Work on the interface was finalized today. Its operator will be able to assume full control of specimen. Our chief researcher, Dr. Larksborough, I'm assuming, has been granted clearance. I did not want to read that one. I already read it. God oh, damn it. Damn it, I screwed up. That's what I get for spamming. Reports. Let's read this one. There has been a breach of confidentiality. Henceforth, all reports shall be relocated to high security and the ground servers. Project 92 may have to be terminated. Wait, did I hear this one? Working? Okay, yeah. I already remember that one. I just couldn't remember. What this one? Lab 2, Code 92 have been terminated. The radiation will keep the area isolated. Dr. Shrut and multiple licenses have been lost as well. Project 92 has been put on indefinite suspension. Yeah, I have to re-enter this every time just to go back. Kidding me. It's getting annoying. Archives. Professor Larkspur. Project 92 is coming along nice. I'm especially impressed with the work of Dr. That might actually be the my character's mother. The secrecy of this research is paramount and must not be compromised. Our patrons were very proud of this. Our financiers will pull our funding if just a word escapes this lab. So even many of the technicians are being kept in the dark. No one must notice. Not until 92 is ready. Okay. Professor Larkspur. I can't believe this. After months of laboring in top secrecy, some of them leaked data on Project 92. The Rangers came around today. They had been through research on Of course, all related materials had been since moved to the island station, but there were still records, and I figured that they may inform Interpol. I can't let that happen. It would ruin us. Our sponsors will have half my head if they hear how loud this leaked happen. We have poured endless resources on the 92, but if Interpol gets involved, I may be forced to pull the plug. And another by Professor Lights. I remotely activated the termination sequence of Lobo 2. It wasn't easy, but it had to be done. That damn Interpol officer got away, but he didn't find any evidence of the project, so they'll have to close the case. It's, it was a shame about Dr. Multiplexes, but she was starting to become a liability, though. If she had run too close to this person, it would have made it difficult to deliver our sponsors. I will have to begin focusing energy into other projects. The research we, can, we did on the interface will be invaluable in our upcoming Enhanced Capture Control project. Our sponsors will as well. We will recover and move on with this. Thorns. And the garlic kid is talking once more in a language I can't understand. Hey, he's talking. It seems like he started with the last time he fought. He's grateful that you rescued him. He seems to want to come along. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
He wants to help you find a way out of this place. Alright. Slash me outside of a bunch, no matter how hard you try. Seems disappointed. Wait, why is it down there now? Uh, okay, there's nothing else we can do here. Maybe. Okay. Looks like he's trying to pry the bars apart. <laughs> Making noise. Wow, he's a lot stronger than he looks. Whoa, what the fucking teleport? Oh, okay, yeah, we just magically squeezed through those bars. Scientist. Oh, let's go right in front of him. Hey, what are you doing out of your cell? And what is that thing you've got to, with you? Okay, we're doing to a Pokemon battle, I guess. Super Scientist, silent. Some type tan scare. Of course, it's a tan scare. Maybe a little. Whoa, he's level 50. Holy shit. Drain. Wow. Leaf Seed, Giga Train, Drain Punch, and Lock Punch is actually not a bad move, sir. Should use Drain Punch and Strong and Lock Punch. He has 3 HP recovery moves. I'm missing Grelic Head's Grass Fighting. Oh, they have a Gargriff. When is that? Summer. Yeah, Grass Fighting. Calm nature, cable taking hits, just about it. Those are some holy nice stats. 118 attack, 150 HP, 105 defense, 113 special line, 17 special defense, 124 speed. Everything with special attack, oh my god, HP is 10. Yeah, I'm gonna save, uh, let's just use block punch, because I need to save the drain punches. Oh, look at that, we took a critical hit, the table pretty much, pretty much nothing. And that thing got a stat boost, goddamn. So yeah, the, po the Pokemon that rescued the Pokemon way back in Rochefield Town, we are now to help us by battling for us. Pick a drain. This Gargriff has shit special defense. It's a good thing I remember that. Got it. Wait, wait, wait. Does that scientist say anything at all? Well, that's what I'm like hearing about this. Okay. Hey, yeah, there's my stuff. What the hell? Is that, is that kid in that Pokemon? How'd they get loose? Okay, for a second, I thought the game froze. <laughs> it just suddenly stopped. Alright. Yeah, of course he is. Well, everyone here just has some. Just, uh, just has something to do with them. Except Garrul actually has pretty good defense. Oh look, a body slam. Jeez. Let's just drain punch and get that health back. I don't plan on using... No, if we get to keep Garrulkid, I'm not using this thing on my team, despite how strong it is. Because having a, a four times weakness to flying is just... No. She's took the psychic fire flying. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, that's all I can remember. It's like, it's like grass fighting. That's just a weird combination. How is this Pokemon so strong? That's right. right oh, oh, you get back here. Pokedex bag and Poke. Okay, I got everything back. Only thing is, I have my team here. But my garlic kid's still following me. All right. Haha. <laughs> Stop right there. All my research, all those my assistants to come to Pokemon Speech Translator. I think destroyed them all. I don't know who was on, just still this, it doesn't matter. PSD, this will bring me a brand new future. Try retreating nice just because you're a kid. This time I'll have no mercy. My Pokemon will destroy you and that meddling monstrosity. This is a boss battle. It's the first one. Oh my god, look at this sprite. It looks weird. Why well, am I not surprised he has that? And holy shit. I may not be prepared for this. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> I forgot not I still have the lucky Egon. <laughs> Rafiti with er Raf Raf Rafiti. Rafiti. I have no idea how to fuck to pronounce that. Let's get a home clause up. I have to hurry up though, because I think he's a knockoff. That's like 65 power or something? Or 60. At least Lucy will help keep me alive for a little bit. Yeah. Grr, 
Oh, one more hundred class. Oh shit, I think he's gonna crunch. That's good. That did less than the knockoff, I think. Alright, I've got two times attack now and 1.66 accuracy or something. 1.6 times accuracy. Fight Iron Tail. Oh, this thing's faster. Shit. There's no way to survive Iron Tail. Yep, graffiti. Let's send in Chimaconda. Okay, we have to swap. To Jerry! Let's say we could send out our own Chimaconda. But nah, no, why do that? Like, send out Jerry, who's 14 levels below. But resist fire attack attacks. Import. What? Just use Rock Slide. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's right, Jerry has shit special defense now. No, Jerry, I'm trying to level you. Uh, sit up and put one. Uh, I can't send out this. Damn it, I can't send anyone out in this because it's too risky. Well, Jerry's gonna send Jerry's to take one for the team. Yeah, I can't send out Nada because it's too risky because that thing's fire type. Alright, Joe. Use Power Jam on this bitch. Damn, is that thing just only gonna use Sludge Bomb? Oh my god, and Joe's poisoned. Damn it. I'm probably gonna lose this battle. Yep, there goes Joe. Again with the Chimla Conda giving me troubles. Alright, sorry. Level 47. Where the son of a bitch? Geez, sorry, it's too hard. Oh what? He got a fucking crit? Are you kidding me? Where's my hacker potions at? Well, I bought more of these because fuck. Jerry went down. Joe went down. Jerry's all for his low level. Oh my god, I fucker does so much damage. Dragon Claw. Oh my god, there goes sorry. Fuck. What is with these fucking level jumps with all the bosses? The gym layer is bullshit. Furs and slow up or faster than I First got the green experience, thrash. Hell no, I love having thrash. I hate thrash. What's Lucho? Lucha bro. That is a terrible name, Lucha bro. Let's use Drain Punch. Oh, so this thing's using Focus Punch, thank god. And it was this fighting type moves. Okay. Let's try Rock Slide. So he's using Focus Punch again. Okay, resist fighting and rock. We better keep you. No, we're going to use Seismic Toss. We better keep using Focus Punch. Yes. It's seismic Toss is a bitch. Let's try using Assurance. Let's see what this does. Jeez, it is just spamming Focus Punch. It really wants to get that Focus Punch off. Okay, maybe that was a crit, but... What the hell is this? Wait, what? Oh, Poison Point. I think... Wait a minute, is this thing Poison type? Like poison Ground? This looks like that's what it might be. I'll explain why I resisted it. No, wait, that wouldn't explain why I resisted Dark then. What, what is Poison? Is Poison that can resist Fighting, Rock, and Dark? I can't remember at the moment. Oh well, if I caught a 3 ball form, I would know. Hmm. Yeah, first we're level 48. Tuber Reel. Hopefully we're faster. Yes we are. And Drain Punch. Get our fucking health back. First, you better hold. No, uh, there's no way first is gonna survive that. Oh my god. First did. Well, I'll be damned. First is actually coming, pulling her weight in this battle. I'm surprised. 
We have to wrap up this battle quickly, though. Chain Axe. I get the feeling I know what that is. Yep, that is the evolved form of Linkite. 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 Uh, I wanna revive Jerry. Is this time to revive Jerry? There's no way. It's, if for first, it's probably I'll be surprised. No, she didn't stay up. Alright, Alexis, you're a psychic, you're a fairy fighting type. The same as what if, let's use Dark Pulse. I should have used Calm Mind. So let's go Stark. So that means I'm going to use Calm Mind and Dazzling Moon. And that Shadow Sneak is really hurting. It certainly has very low power. Like only 40 or something. So like Alexis is one of the first real battles. Alright, I have a potion. This thing is just spamming. This thing like I have a choice scarf or something, because it just spams the shadow sneak. Alright, Dazzling Lane, go! We have one combine off. Dazzling Lane. Oh my god, that nearly defeated Chain Knight. And he's gonna have a potion, so it looks like he's gonna survive the next shadow sneaks. Is this thing like only no shadow sneak or something? Dazzling Lane. Oh, pain split. That, geez, that took up a lot of less than self. Alright, Chain Eye is down. I repeat, Chain Eye is down. Damn, Jerry got some No, no! We got 5600 bucks. This can't be happening. How could I be simulated by Child in a mirror? I don't know what it said after Child. I have to have to flee, they're going to come for me if I don't. If I just take the stupid thing and never want to see the speech translator or these labs ever again. I'm fleeing the region, perhaps maybe Team Rocket will hire me. And everyone is gone. And Garlic Kid, let's see. You can understand me now, we sure kicked those bad humans butts, didn't we? Good human. I heard the cries of Pokemon that they were keeping prisoner and I and Garlic Kid just liberated their fall Pokemon that are enslaved trying to free them. Somehow I got caught myself. You came and you set me free, for that I owe you my life. You're bonded now. I have decided you are a good human. I know you are not like those others. I'm gonna travel with you. Together, we will defeat many more foes and vanquish evil wherever it dares to lurk. You know what? I have the perfect name for Garlic Kid. Well, not the perfect one. I'm gonna name you Dominic. No, no, no. No, 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 Dominic. Uh, I'm gonna call you. Uh, I know who I'm gonna call you. Not P2. I want lower. I'm gonna call you. Hey, I'm gonna call you Potato. Wait, can I call you Potato Head? Oh, it fits. Wait. Potato Head! <laughs> Your other kid's new name is Potato Head. And Girly Kid magically teleports. Misconduct by order of the Tano Rangers. Okay. Well, that's all for this episode, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you folks in the next video. See you later, folks.